Hi guys, welcome to a short video about the green card lottery, another video about the green card lottery and what happens or what you should do when you have been picked in the green card lottery and you have to uh, file the DS-260 form you have to turn in. Uh, you can start uh, October 1st, 2021, I mean, uh, for this year. Probably will be the same date, uh, first October 1st, uh, in, in, in any year. So just to uh, remind or show you this again, this is what you will see if you have been picked in the green card lottery uh, this year. It will show uh, or it will say that uh, all DV applicants must use the online DS-260 immigrant visa and alien re registration application. Yeah, so of course, uh, if you are living outside the US at the moment and you want to file the application for the green card, then you really have to file the DS-260 outside of the United States, uh, usually where you live or where it's your home country. But what do you have to do if you live already in the United States? I mean, I'm not talking about uh, vacation or so, but really if you are living on a visa in the United States, like a, with an E2 visa or some other working uh, visa or so, what uh, do you have to do? Uh, do you have to go back back to your home country or can you can you uh, file this DS-260 here or what will it be? So of course I'm not an immigration attorney so this information is just what I know based on my uh, latest knowledge and I can tell you it's a different thing uh, if you are already living in the United States. That's basically then the question DS-264 versus I-485 form adjustment of status versus consular process. And the question is then what's recommended, what are the options, uh, what's the advantage if you do it here or disadvantage or advantage if you do it at home, uh, disadvantage when you do it at home. So this is my latest information what I have here. I have uh, been searching for a little bit to find a website which has some really good information about that and I think this looks really legit. I mean I've been talking to people who really uh, know the things like immigration attorney and uh, it really matches really good to this thing here so I think I don't have to write it down extra I'll put down the link to this website into the description so you can read everything so I think the main part is really this thing here yeah now it slipped away a little bit these are the two things and it's really nicely explained uh, the here first the main benefits of the adjustment of status that means that's that you have to file the i-485 and of course here also the main drawbacks and if you think the drawbacks are too large and you cannot handle that and you want to decide to rather go home to your home country you can file then the ds-260 forms and then you have it actually exactly uh, vice versa so for me the main benefit fits look like yeah quick process that's not bad but the big big deal here is that you should receive a temporary employment and travel permit uh, within 90 days that's actually called the EAD card I mean you will when you file this I-485 application you will get some kind of confirmation uh, within about 10 days or so and I've heard that some employers already accept this to let you work here but actually I, I, I'm not sure if you are really allowed I, I wouldn't uh, take any chances and I would wait till you get this re, uh, EAD card uh, after 90 days latest and then you have all the benefits you can do travel you can really work here uh, still while the green card process is still pending no matter how long it takes it can take up to september 2021 and during the whole time you can already work here you can travel if you decide to return to your home country and fill out the ds-264 form you won't be able to return to us i mean you can do that with a travel uh, visa or so but definitely 
on the, the green card there's no way to do that and you cannot work during this time and if you have like a business let's say you are already in the united states on an e2 visa and you decide to go home for the application of the ds 260 for uh, some reason you cannot uh, return to the united states to operate your existing business uh, actually legally you have to know about that and uh, you, you usually cannot do travel so only uh, vacation travel uh, is allowed during this time and so uh, and since we know that these processes really these days uh, during COVID-19 can take very long time in the last couple of years sometimes these processes have been taking up till uh, really September uh, of the next year so I would be really careful about thinking to return and fill the DS-260 form of course let's say if you are on an E2 and you have currently filed an extension for the E2 or for the I-94 form and the I-94 or the E2 visa could be denied the extension and you have already filed the I-485 form that could be a problem because the I-485 form also means that you will have to go you're dealing with the UCIS and not with the uh, normal uh, consular thing a uh, consular authority in your home country it's a different thing so if the i-94 or the e2 uh, is uh, denied so you'd have to go back and you cannot go here to the ucis uh, center here uh, in the US and uh, have the interview so that would be a problem but, but based on the attorney he was saying that there's always a, a way to work around this to, to find some solution I mean as long as you're talking or uh, using the help of an attorney usually uh, they should be able to talk to the immigration authorities and figure out some way what to do uh, there shouldn't be like a too big problem usually uh, the i-94 is not a thing which usually is rejected so i for my side i would definitely recommend to stay here and file the i-485 and not the ds-260 and uh, get all the benefits of being able to uh, travel and work much earlier you uh, I mean there's a little bit more uh, expenses uh, I, I can I can't tell you any details about that but for me the the benefits look much uh, much higher and you you won't have to move I mean moving home is, is always difficult I mean especially during COVID you have to find a new uh, residence and um, yeah, it can always be difficult so for me looks much more tempting to stay but it's a personal preference of course and yeah that's it for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time